Right, so we're going to zoom out. We're going to find us an asteroid. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here we go. Look, there's four, four. Oh, look, there's a few now. These are the ones that we saw earlier. And there's a few newer ones. So this one, what's that? Oh, <laughs> that's the inconsequential. Yeah, that's that's virtually gone out to meet one already. But um, let's have a look at this one. Let's see what information. Class C objects. Apparently, class A is the smallest, and class E is the largest. So we've got class C, class C, class A. So that one's a little one. Class A, class C. These ones are class A, class C. What do we want to go and see, guys? Do we want to go and see a tiny little one? Or do we want to find as big a one as we can? I'll tell you what. Let's find out what ones come nearby. Um, I believe, how do we how do we start tracking it? I've forgotten. Oh, there we go. Track object. So that object goes... Comes into a Kerbin encounter. How close does it come? Wow. That. That's almost. I can't really see it. Come back. Here we go. Right. Where is it? Where is its orbit? Oh, it's not showing it now. Oh, that's a pain. Was it that one or was it that one? No, it's that one, wasn't it? Right. Come on, I want to see... That's like nearly the moon's orbit, isn't it? Seven, seven million metres. So that one's pretty... comes pretty close. Um, and that's a class A. So what's this one? Let's track this one. That again has a Kerbin encounter round there. How close does this one come? 439,000 metres. That's pretty close. Look at that. That's like... That's like skimming off the paintwork. Oh, come here. Pretty sure we could go and meet that, don't you think? Um, so that is AFP 464. So uh, let's just check, see if there's any more... Yeah, that one. These all come very close, don't they? That one's a little bit further out, I think. Yeah, 51 million metres. So that's not quite so much of a bullet graze. Uh, that one... Thirteen millimetres, yeah, so none of these are coming quite as close. These all have a Kerbin encounter though. I wonder if that's the uh, like the criteria for showing them. 616, that one comes pretty close, and that's a Class C. What was that one that came really close? Was that a Class C as well? Yeah. Right, I think we're going to aim for that one, guys. AFP 464. And we are going to try and launch from the space station. Just to see if that's even possible. Hopefully, what we'll do is we'll launch. We'll go up into an orbit and hopefully meet it on its way around kind of thing. I don't know how that will work, but... We'll see. We'll see. Um, getting it back to the space station could be interesting. Um, so yeah, AFP 464. So let's speed up time a bit. Which you can now do in the tracking station, which is pretty cool. That's part of the new update. Let's get it... A bit nearer, because it's not until... Yeah, we've got like 60 days... Before it comes close. They're all coming pretty close. <laughs> now look, look at this one. Look, this one is now within the influence of Kerbin going by. 71,000 metres. Uh, 71 million metres. <laughs> 71,000 metres, that would be pretty scary. Um, Okay, yep. So that one's going to fly past. Okay, slow him right down. So, one day, five hours. Good, good. So let's go 
to the space center, space station, and we'll get someone out into one of our rockets. Who should we send? We've got Malden and Gerwin, wasn't it? I think we'll send Malden on EVA. And you are going to climb up and then let go and turn your RCS on and come down into whoa, this way, this way. Where's the crew hatch? Must be this side. Hello! Crew hatch would be nice. Oh, it's under there, that's why. Having a little bit of trouble controlling this. <laughs> Whoops, where are you going? Come back. This way. What are you doing? Come on. Aha, crap. Whoa! No! <laughs> Come back, Molden. That's not how it works. What is going on? Come on. Hi no Becky, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Come on in, join us. Oh, come on. This has got to be a bug. Why are they bouncing off the bouncing off the crew hatch? At this rate the asteroid's gonna go past. Grab. No! I'll tell you what. Try the other one. Where's the crew hatch for this one? Around here. This is annoying. Why are these guys suddenly incapable of grabbing on? Aha! Right, thank you for that, Nobaki. Yes, clicking and dragging. Whoa. This way, there we go. Stop, 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 stay still. Now face the right way. There we go. No. No, he keeps wanting to face downwards. Oh dear. <laughs> right, let's 
slow down. Get near. Stop. Now, face the door. Grab. Ha ha! There we go. Thank you very much, Nibaki, for that tip. Clicking and dragging the left mouse button to uh, change where we're looking. Okay, so which one did he get in? It was this one, wasn't it? There's no monoprop on these. Okay. So, where's the monoprop tanks on the space station? Is it there? There's one, anyway. Whoa! No, don't do that. Out and into there. So let's fill up the monoprop. What do we got? Fuel wise. Yeah, we're full of fuel. Good, good. We've even got a working parachute. That one a prop. Got more any more monoprop anywhere? Is that all we had? Yeah, okay. Alright, mental note. Send more monoprop. Need more monoprop on the station. Because now we can't actually move the station. <laughs> okay. So, let's undock this. And turn on the monoprop. Push us forward just a little bit if I can remember. No. Switch to this down this one, don't we? No, not that one. Not that one. This one. Yeah, okay. Right, so let's spin us around a little bit. Now we're also going to uh, gonna switch back to here, check which of these has got fuel in it, that one has, so we're going to undock that, switch back to here, we're going to control from here, set that as our target. I think I'm upside down. Let me change my whoops, wrong one. Let me change my camera to chase. There we go, yeah, we were upside down. So let's go for tricky controls mode. Whoops. Um I've forgotten all the controls. H, that's what I'm after. H and N. Hit the space station. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, they are RCS fuel tanks, aren't they? Oh, well done. Yeah, okay, so we've still got some RCS on there. That's okay though, we've got enough for now. Oops. This probably isn't the best way to... Uh, undock from a space station for the purposes of docking with a fuel tank that was also undocked from the space station, but there we go. Can't see now because it's dark. Controls the wrong way around. Oh. Okay. Oops, not missing it. Yeah, I, d I don't like the... Uh don't like the actual docking controls. It's very dark. <laughs> and granted the docking controls probably would make this easier. see a thing. No, I didn't pack any lights on these pods. I looked really close then and changed the camera and you're miles away.
Oh, 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 oh. Yay! Right. God, oh dear, that took long enough. Sorry, that probably wasn't very interesting to watch, but uh, there we go. We have, we have docked. Now, let's find out what's going on with our asteroid. Where is he? Which one was it? 464, there he is. Set as target. So it hasn't quite entered the influence yet. Oh wow, that's on a very different orbit to us. Um, if that's the ascending node, why do I not have a descending node? I'm going to have to do it pretty much now, aren't I, to... Is that working? I don't know. Might have to do another adjustment later, I think. That will do for now, though. Um, and then we can sort out. See, so we've got an intersect there, but I believe we're yeah we're miles away. It's over here at that point. Oh look, 0.6, there we go. So that is the perfect point to <laughs> to do our correction burn. And then we will have to... 21 minutes, 23 seconds, I don't think so. Um, then we will have to sort out our encounter, our rendezvous, once we've done that. So let's head round there a bit. says it doesn't know our burn time so let's get ourselves lined up and we'll do a quick test burn get our SAS on and don't need those on 7 minutes we best do that now then I have to actually, yeah. It's <laughs> problem is with these is they use the fuel really quickly. Oh, we've got thrust limiter on them. Go to a hundred, didn't it? Yep. Okay. That's better. Right, thirty four seconds. That's a really rubbish engine in that case. <laughs> right, so let's get round a little bit. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Um. Plan G. 
Let's think what we can put together. What rockets have we built? Doesn't got to be heavy. It's just got to get the pod up there with enough fuel for the pod to get back. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can build, shall we? Let's. Um, Something like that, and one of these, just for the return phase. Um, but we will then also add Okay, so <laughs> we're going to call this the, uh, what should we call it? <laughs> You're going to groan at this. The Asteroinomical Failure. <laughs> Save. Um, yeah, this. Well, let's launch it. Who cares? Let's let's just see what it does. We've got 12 days until this asteroid goes past. That's plenty of time. <laughs> um, okay, so let's find it first of all. 464, where are you? There you are. Set as target. So, um, it is coming by the right way, isn't it? Yeah, so we can still launch east, but we actually kind of want to launch very nearly south. So yeah, kind of southeast, as opposed to just an east launch like we normally do. So that would be kind of over there, I think, on our nav ball. Uh, yeah, roughly, roughly over there is where we're aiming for. So uh, here we go. <laughs> SAS on, throttle up, and we are ready to go with the astronomical. Failure in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah, that took off. See how we're doing apoapsis wise. 46, that's not too bad. Hit the space bar by mistake. <laughs> that would have been a catastrophe. Right. 
Our apoapsis is heading outside of 70,000 watts on the side. Let's slow our engines right down. Get that up to about 80 odd. And then we'll cut our engines and drift up there. There we go. And let's. Oh dear, we've got not very much control on this. Coming up on 70,000, so here we go. How are we doing with this? Oh dear. Okay, we're kind of doing exactly the wrong orbit. Yeah, let's try starting to correct that straight away, I think. Is it this way? No, it's the other way, isn't it? Typical. Could have just messed up this launch, but never mind. Let's hope. Oh dear, no, we're going to run out of fuel, and this could be another failed launch. Not doing too well today, guys. Yeah, there go those fuel tanks. Periapsis is outside the atmosphere, so that's that's in one important stage at least. Uh, sorted out. So let's see if we can get a manoeuvre sorted to finish that off. Did I go too far? I think I did, didn't I? Here. Yeah. Not point nine, that'll do. Right, fifty four seconds. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh well. Let's see what we get. Let's speed us up to that point. Twenty seven seconds ready for the burn. Welcome back, Jelly. Welcome back. And burn. Are we going to have enough fuel for this? Maybe, maybe. So we are 0 0.6, that's good, that's good. So, now we've got to find out Intersect 2, Intersect 1. At this point, the Intersects are going to be miles out, aren't they? Yeah. So, this is where it gets very interesting with the way they've changed the manoeuvre nodes. Because we can now add a manoeuvre, do absolutely nothing 
and we can extend it to another orbit. As you can see, this line on the right, I'm pointing to my screen. It's it's that one over there. Hang on, where is it? This line, this, this pink dotted line here is moving, see? And that's because I'm now saying wait an extra orbit. Oops, oops, if I continue clicking the right button. There we go. So it'll be this one here. And Really? Okay, so if we move it... Right, okay, so what we're going to have to do is wait until the asteroid is around here somewhere, I think, before we... So we're going to have to do a few orbits and wait for the asteroid to arrive. I have to... Hmm. We may have to practice and do this... <laughs> do this another time, but... Um, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Still got 10 days until it comes. So, right, on this orbit at the apoapsis, I'm going to slow us down. I'm going to point us prograde and I'm going to raise our periapsis a bit so that we can use the zoom features properly. There we go. <laughs> So now we should be able to zip around a bit quicker. There we go. Much better. It's like a fairground ride. This thing's taking its time for something that's travelling at 9,000. Oh wait, velocity 242, okay. Why did it say something like 9,000 before? Right, well, I think we are anyway going to have to try and match orbits with this thing a little bit. Um, we haven't got a lot of fuel to do that with. fuel tank. Um, let's continue. Oops, we're still throttled up. Let's put that down. Oh, nice bit of lag there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! What happened there? No, it went way too fast, and the thing zipped past us. 
Where's the rewind button? Uh. Well... Mm. Darn. Well, that did not go to plan. Um, that was, as they say in the trade, a failure. I'm going to bring this guy home. him back the other way. Jerry's home safely. Oh look, I forgot to show you that our flag is now on the side of the uh, of the ship. That's something else they added in this update. Um, Jerry's home safely after an un unfortunately failed mission. Why can't I recover the vessel? Recover! Recover! Why won't you let me recover it? Uh, jib. It's a bit strange. Um, I have to recover him from the uh, trekking station. Well, guys, unfortunately, we were not able to go and see our asteroid today. I will in that case give this another go off camera and post a video on YouTube when I do actually manage to encounter an asteroid and I will do it I will do it but not tonight so thank, thank you for watching guys unfortunately I'm, I'm sorry that we didn't manage to fulfill our mission today these things do happen. We will come back to this at another time. And, well, th thank you for watching. I've been El Bristo. You've been watching the Elotopia Gaming Channel. Please don't forget to follow us on Twitch and like, comment, and subscribe on this video on YouTube. And I will see you next time, guys. See you later.